You know, I've seen you do a lot of interviews, Scott, and one of the things that I see you continually talk about is you say that if, if you don't innovate in this industry, you're not going to be around for long. Uh, you know, what are you doing at Chipotle to really push yourself into, into new territory? What are you most excited about on that front? Our philosophy around the building here is we're always innovating. And we're always innovating in ways that either enhance the consumer experience, drives consumer demand, or enhances the team member experience. I think one of the most underrated interventions in business today is removing complexity. And oftentimes when we find ourselves with an imbalance in a restaurant, the root cause isn't always about employee capability. It's about operational complexity that we've added that limits uh, performance. And so we're innovating on restaurant design. We're innovating on the equipment we use in back of house. Our focus on high quality culinary crafted in restaurant is critical to our success. So we can't compromise on the quality of how we bring the experience to life, uh, but we can get more efficient. Uh, Cause if you're a team member today and you walk into a Chipotle restaurant and you have two 25 pound bags of whole onions hanging on a shelf that you have to personally cut and dice with a knife and a cutting board, it's a little arduous, a little challenging. Uh, and as you can imagine, very time consuming. So we're leveraging our partners, creating innovation, whether that's you know, the high efficiency equipment package that we're launching later in the year, uh, the automated DML make line, digital make line that makes bowls and salads. Uh, we have a new tool called Avocado. We've just co-designed with a company called Vibu that cuts, peels, and cores avocados. We typically do that about eight uh, to 10 times per day uh, or cut and core eight to 10 cases of uh, avocados a day. So just removing some of the routine mundane tasks that team members don't want to do, makes the job easier, makes us more efficient, delivers a better team member experience, which I know will always ladder to a better consumer experience. How do you think AI is going to change Chipotle or will it? You do so much, you know, that's old fashioned. I'll give you two examples. We're, we're leveraging um, an AI visioning system today, which will help us understand how we're deployed at peak by restaurant uh, and give us feedback uh, overnight or real time that tells us whether we're deployed correctly um, you know, speed of service at a Chipotle, as you can imagine, is critically important. We are fortunate, David, to have long lines to the door. That is not lost on me. Our challenge is how do we move that line in the most efficient way? So this AI visioning tool will help us with that, and it does all the decisioning on its own. We also are le leveraging um, AI and AI assistant to help us onboard st staff members through our talent app, our, our applicant tracking system in a much more efficient way reducing the time it takes to onboard a new team member at Chipotle from 14 days to about three days. And so we're looking at other places where we can leverage AI to make us smarter at analytics. Of course, we're in the early stages of what that looks like for us, but everyone has these massive volumes of data points and they really don't understand what to do with them all. And having something that helps you synthesize all that information and really strips out where the opportunities are in the most meaningful way, I think the person that figures it out first will have a competitive advantage. 